It has been a while since I saw something on social media and said, I got to go to CNN right now. And last night was one of those nights. So Donald Trump, who was in New York, uh, basically sent out on his own, whatever social service he's on right now, said, the FBI is at my place at Mar-a-Lago. And there was a lot of other things to that. But, he, but Donald Trump broke the news that Donald Trump was being raided by the FBI. So this happened. Uh, Trump says the agents, quote, even broke into my safe, end quote. And that has been confirmed. The Justice Department in the States has known as two known active investigations against Trump. Now, this specific search yesterday was about historical White House documents that were taken from the White House to Mar-a-Lago in Florida after he left office. And the Justice Department, I don't know what he's doing here, and the Justice <laughs> Department have constantly asked about these 15 boxes and gotten really no response. So they went in there when, when Donald Trump, who most people expect to soon announce another run for the presidency, they went in there while he was in New York. Now, um, Merrick Garland is the head of the Department of Justice. He's kind of running this. It, f for this type of search warrant to be okayed by a judge Huge. is staggering. And I I'll remind you, Christopher Wray, uh, who is basically running the FBI, was appointed by Donald Trump. So anyone screaming of conspiracy Trump put the guy in, in the spot. Just keep that in mind. Now, the other aspect to this is concerning documents. Um, I, I don't think the Trump White House was pretty good at preserving them. Oh my this gosh. is how I know. Maggie Herberman of the New York Times was sent a few pictures by someone who had access to Donald Trump's toilets. Literally. This isn't as gross as I'm making it sound. Donald Trump had a habit of ripping up notes and flushing them. How do I know? This is how I know. Again, this was sent to New York Times. And he would periodically do this. These are presidential notes after a speech, whatever it is. In a Sharpie. So let's just say the Trump administration, uh, when they had sensitive archived documents, probably didn't handle everything correctly. Now, no one knows what they found yesterday at Mar-a-Lago, Trump's residence in Florida. But never before has a former president been raided by the FBI. This is unheard of. And we're going to ration the Trump talk. I know people get turned off by it. But this was history here. We don't know where this is going to go. You and I have talked plenty of times about how I, I think no one down there really has, or I thought, no one has the stones to charge him with anything. This would lead me to believe something very, very different. Obviously, investigations into January 6th and what happened at the Capitol are still ongoing. But this is, this is now going in a completely different direction. And we're not going to do, we're not talking about this every day because even I have Trump fatigue, mm -hmm. but this is history. And I'll, 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 I'll end with this. August 8th was also the day, if we're talking about presidential history, Richard Nixon stepped down wow. as president of the United States. I don't know if the two were linked. That's your U.S. political history. Take that for what it is. Don't you want to know more about that person who had access to the toilet, took the pictures like how brazen? There's a bunch of And why release now. them now? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Who is that person? He knows who that person is who had access to the toilet. Yeah. And by the way, everybody knows you can't flush anything down a toilet. It's called a shredder. Well, Donald Trump thought you could have. He thought. Now, <laughs> I hate to quote this person because they're very controversial, but I wake up this morning and I'm like, as we do, because we have a morning meeting every morning before the show. So I'm like, let's see what's happening on Twitter. Any follow-ups? First one that pops up, Pierce Morgan. Did you see it? I didn't see what Pierce wrote. No. Pierce says, if you're going to swing this hard, you better not miss. Yep. He's right? bang on. He's bang because on. Because if they don't find anything, He's bang 2024, on. here he comes, strong and loud. Andrew, I'll leave you with this quote from Andrew McCabe, who used to be in the FBI. He was on CNN last night. They asked him, what has to happen here to get someone, all the proper parties, to sign off on the search warrant? Yeah. Andrew McCabe said, quote, the earth has to move, end quote. Shift access. That's the level we're at. To be continued.